Alarming new information is coming out about B2K member Raz B. After his recent apology to Chris Stokes, he's been in the hospital. Now, according to TMZ, he tried to get on the roof and there's alarming video talking about what led up to this incident. Welcome back to the Kempire channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So I did see this recent post that Raz B, you know, formerly of B2K, posted on social media claiming that everything that he said about Chris Stokes being someone who harmed him as a kid was not true. And a lot of you in the comments section said, no, you're not the only one, Rasby. We get it. There's a whole psychology behind victims retracting their statements for whatever reason. But after he did this, a word on the street is that he then was hospitalized. So much so his brother came out and prayed for him, saying that he had to have wrist surgery. So Rasby posted this on his social media with a picture of him and Chris Stokes, okay? You already know the stories behind Rasby's accusations against Chris Stokes, who was then a manager. So Rasby posted this on his Instagram saying, I'm a made man. Here it goes, go, here it goes, truth, truth. Mature, grown DeMario after countless, countless counseling. I was abused by my bro brother and others. They all used and abused me like a rag doll. By the time my cousin took custody over me, I was a mess. He was not my enemy. I focused all my pain, frustration, and anger built up from my past and took it out on my cousin. And I never understood why. Maybe because B2K broke up and he was no longer in my life. Chris was never my pain. He was my protector, my peace, and my friend. People like Steve and the terrible things in Cleveland. I told him about Ricky forcing me to do things. Those are things... I should have dealt with, like all the monsters in my life that actually did these things to me. Chris was never that guy I made the world think he was. I remember why my cousin fought so hard to save me because I needed Chris, and then I attacked the only person who helped me. It's time to let the world know the truth. Love you, my cuz. Chris, I pray you continue to be my peace and protector. I miss you. PSMH has always been my favorite artist immature all day. Marcus Houston, I believe he's referring to in that instance. So a lot of people in the comment section were saying that, no, this, this, is not, this is not the truth because there are other accusers, allegedly. Well, then TMZ just a few moments ago posted this exclusive story about Rasby being in the hospital. Rasby's brother took to social media saying, you know, asking people to pray for his brother. He was going to have some sort of risk surgery, which made people believe did Rasby try to harm himself? Well, according to TMZ, Rasby had an incident at this hospital. Alarming behavior from Rasby, they write, breaking a window at a hospital and climbing onto the building's roof, forcing police to get involved. The scary incident went down Thursday in Kansas City the morning after the B2K singer posted a video on Instagram where he repeatedly said he didn't feel safe. All day I've been trying to clear uh, miscommunications up, but I'm letting everybody know right now that, Joseph, I need you to call me right now. Because let me tell you, I don't feel safe. I'm in Kansas City. I'm at the Hilton Hotel. And I'm telling everybody right now, Rasby does not feel safe. Pull out an APB for Rasby in Kansas City. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I'm telling everybody right now, I don't feel safe. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's turned up. That's the location where I'm at. So call all my call all my army friends, marine friends. No, I'm not good. That's exactly where I'm at. Come get me. Yep, I'm staying right here. And they're gonna everybody's gonna be compliant. 
I'm not saying that something's going on. I'm just letting my people know I don't feel safe. And everybody's been very helpful here, so thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your service. Thank you for the charger. She gave me a charger and everything, guys. Yo, Blanco, call, 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 call a hotel. Raz B, you already know. APB, nigga, what's popping? I'm not trying to go to war with anybody. I'm just trying to put Raz B in a safe space so Raz B can check into a, a, a facility. What's the address here, Robert? What's the address here, Robert? I just like, you know, sometimes you don't feel like going to sleep. So guess what? I'm not going to sleep. Yep. Blew the spot up. So just so y'all know, I'm with. Yeah. No, it's not just go outside. Not when, not when people keep showing up. So I'm telling y'all right now. Nope. Call the hotel. Blow the spot up. 911. Please, I'm not trying to piss nobody off, but ain't nobody helping me right now. I'm not having a mental breakdown. My phone is not off. Rasby claimed to be at a Hilton hotel in Kansas City on Wednesday night saying he was fighting to stay alive and didn't want to have the surgery here. He also posted the address for a Kansas City hospital. TMZ obtained the video showing Raz on the, on the roof of the same hospital as shocked onlookers watched in a horror from a window across the way. Law enforcement sources tell TMZ officers were dispatched to the St. Luke's Hospital at 10.20 a.m. Thursday after being called by off-duty cops and hospital security. Police say when they got there, they determined he had broken a window in order to climb on the roof. There was concern Raz might jump off the ledge. Cops say the fire department responded to the scene, too, and placed Matt down below just in case he did. Police say a negotiator got involved too and he ultimately came back through the window peacefully and was treated by medical staff. Needless to say, folks online are super concerned about Rasby's behavior. It's unclear what his condition is right now. So this apology to Chris Stokes coming, then this talk from his brother about, about Rasby getting this wrist surgery it seems as if Rasby might be in a mental health crisis. I don't know, but just based off what we are hearing and what is being reported, it sounds like he's not in the best place. And it's sad because we do see victims, and I'm not saying that's what's happening here. We do see victims of abuse that exhibit very similar behavior, especially if they have not received the proper help in resolving what what they experienced. And I know, I believe it's called Stockholm Syndrome where the victim of abuse romanticizes their abuser. And that's what a lot of you have been saying. Look, none of us are psychologists and none of us know the full details of what went down and what happened to Rasby. Clearly, he says this in post, he was abused. Who was his abuser? Was it Chris Stokes? Was it other individuals? Was it everyone? Who knows? But at this point, I hope for Raz B that he gets the help that he needs for his mental health. Because all of this behavior that we're seeing from him on social media, this recent incident, is just saying to us that it's a cry for help. And it is still May, Mental Health Awareness Month. If you or anyone you know, feeling the way that Raz B is feeling, or just feeling like you need someone to hear you out, there are details, there are resources that can help. And we'll be posting all of that information in the description of this video. As always, guys, I want to know your thoughts and, and how you feel about the information that I've presented to you so far in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the